my cubbies. You know, it was pretty fun to hear about Timothy and Cubby Bear's camping trip but it wasn't fun to hear that they were scared about a certain sound they heard. I know y'all have been scared at times too, and it's a horrible feeling to feel scared and you just, you don't know what to do. Well, we're gonna learn about that today and what the Bible says and how we can help ourselves, how Jesus can help us when we're scared, okay? All right. Did you know that even adults can be afraid at times too? I have a little story about when I woke up and there was a fire outside our house. Boy, was I scared. I had to run and grab two of my girls and we went outside and we could see little fires all in our yard and a big fire across the road. And we got out in the car, but I had to drive right by the fire. I mean, even some of the rubber and plastic was melted on our car. It was that hot. But as soon as I got a little bit into the car and down the road, I was like shaking the steering wheel going, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And it helped us. It helped all of us to not be so afraid. So that's what we're going to learn more about today. Okay. All right, here's our picture. We don't have to be afraid because Jesus is our good shepherd. That's our theme today and for the past few days and weeks. Jesus is the good shepherd. Now, remember, that doesn't mean we're sheep with woolly coats and black hooves, but we're like sheep because he's like our shepherd. He always loves us. No matter when we're sinning, he came to earth as a baby. He left his place in heaven to come see us and show us how to live. God loved us and sent his son, Jesus, 1 John 4, 10. He knew that he was going to die for our sins, and we all sin, Romans 3, 23. We all think, say, and do things that are against God's word. He knew when he came to earth that he was going to grow up and die for our sins. He loves us that much. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5, 8. But he didn't stay dead. He rose from the grave, and he's in heaven waiting to come back for us. So Cubbies, our lesson is more about the shepherds today to show us some more about how Jesus loves us. From the Bible, our lesson, uh, or now Bible memory verse is from the book of Psalm. And it it's the most famous Psalm in the Bible. It's Psalm chapter 23. It's about a shepherd. So we learn from this um, psalm that sometimes the shepherd has to lead his sheep through a very dark valley and they're on the road or the path going down to the bottom of the valley and look this sheep has wandered too close to the edge of the cliff well the shepherd always has a staff in his hand and he uses the hook at the end to gently pull his sheep back away from danger. You know, I bet those sheep heard scary noises and I bet they were afraid too, but they knew that the shepherd was there to take care of them. That's what Jesus does for us. He always takes care of us. Now, the shepherd always watched over the sheep to keep them safe from danger. Do you see anything else in this picture that could hurt the sheep? I bet y'all have already seen this wolf up here, right? Now, the shepherd carries a rod in his hand and the rod is a thick club, like a weapon, like a baseball bat, probably shorter, and he uses it to beat the wolf up or any wild animal, 
he could bite off the wolf. He sometimes could throw the rod to kill the wolf. And you know, the shepherd would even do anything to keep his sheep safe. He could get hurt or even die if he had to, to save his sheep. And that's what Jesus did. He got hurt when he was whipped and he died for us. That's how the comparison is for the shepherd and Jesus is our shepherd. He loves his sheep so much, just like Jesus loves us. You know, we've seen this picture before where the sheep would, the sheep would come home in the evening after spending the day in the pasture and the shepherd would count them with his rod and feel to make sure they didn't have any wounds. He made sure that no sheep was lost. We had that lesson where the shepherd went after the one sheep that was lost. There are four sheep here and remember he counted to 99 and then he went for the shepherd, the sheep that was lost. Our verse this week um, is Psalm 23, 4, and it's right here. It's in that very famous um, chapter, Psalm 23, and we're going to say it three times. Say it with me. Psalm 23, 4, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Remember Here's the rod, and the staff is the one with the crook. They comfort the sheep because they take care of the sheep and keep them from danger. Let's say it again. I will, Psalm 23, 4. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. That's Jesus with us. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, 4. One more time. I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, 4. It reminds us of our good shepherd, Jesus. We don't have to fear the evil. We know that Jesus is with you. If you've accepted Jesus as your Savior, then he is with you. He is in your heart, he is in your body, he is all around you. All you have to do is say his name. And this Bible verse reminds us not to fear. We don't have to be afraid because Jesus is always with us. Now, sometimes scary things happen to us. You know, bees bite, dogs bark, you get lost from your mom and your dad in the store. We can't help those bad things from happening, happening, but our verse says, I will fear no evil. So we're gonna practice some ways that we can remember to call on Jesus to help us when we're afraid. You'll always remember that Jesus loves you and he always wants to take care of you, so just call out his name. So. Here's some other things. We can pray. Immediately when you hear fear, when you have fear, you can pray. I, I was too afraid to pray. I, I just started saying his name. You can ask Jesus to help you. You can say, Jesus, help me. Well, you know, sometimes you can't even say that, but just say his name, Jesus, Jesus, like I did. You can say your Bible verse out loud. If you've memorized it good, you can always remember to say, I will fear no evil for you are with me. That can be a way to help you. And you can just say over and over again, Jesus is with me, Jesus is with me. I don't have to be afraid. Okay, let's look at some of these things. I know these might be scary to you, okay? But each time I pull one out, I want you to say, Jesus help me, okay? Here's the first one. Ooh. Scary clown face. Jesus is with me. There are bad people in the world. If somebody tries to hurt you, you say, help me, Jesus. What about when you go to the dentist? Ooh, that's scary sometimes. Say, Jesus, help me. I will fear no evil. 
What about a barking dog, a growling barking dog that wants to attack you? Jesus help me. Jesus is with me. How about a rattlesnake? Oh, they can bite you, so be careful. Jesus help me. What about lightning and thunder? Oh, I know y'all are afraid of that. I was too when I was a child. Jesus help me, I don't have to be afraid. What about roller coasters? I don't go on roller coasters, but you can, if you want to, and say, Jesus, help me. Oh, when you're alone or sad, something's happened, like your parent got sick. Jesus, help me. He'll always be there for you. Oh, here's a bad man. I don't like that. Oh, Jesus, help me. All right, so practice that over and over again. It'll help you when something bad actually happens, okay? Let's pray and thank Jesus, our good shepherd, for loving us and being with us and helping us, okay? We never have to be afraid. Close your eyes, fold your hands, bow your head. Dear Father God, thank you so much for always, always being with us. Like a good shepherd, you always love us. You always look out for danger. You always take care of us. Even if bad things happen, like we saw in these pictures, help us remember, Lord, to say your name, Jesus. Jesus, help me. Jesus will always be there to heal our wounds. Yes, Jesus, thank you. You will always take care of us and you pull us away from danger. Help us to pray at all times. Help each cubby learn to ask you for help all the time, even to help you make good decisions and stay away from bad things. Jesus, help me obey. Obey my parents. They want to keep me safe too. I know your parents love you, but Jesus loves you more. I, we pray all these things in your wonderful name, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Amen.